billions or gigatons of the rock have to move opening up the pathway for the eruption and that is the reason we have earthquakes these are the tremors we are seeing all through the plate boundary you can actually see the plate boundary where the earthquakes are happening and waves of them are coming from the extreme west to the extreme east of this and opening up the rocks takes a lot of power you know the pulling power of the whole continent of eurasia and americas are pulling apart these billions of tons of rocks just to open up a tiny amount is not much 60 70 centimeter is enough for an eruption and that is the usual thing we see in the nature in the nature what we are seeing these movements of the rock in the, in the jagged way in a zigzag way uh, through the transform faults and the uh, 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 other faults you can see that in the nature creating what we call as dike this is the dike means a solidified uh, pathway of the magma frozen in time and this is what we'll ha see here in this area you see the heat rising from the pathway of the previous eruptions here and the result is what we have seen before like this And this is all that we need, 60, 70 centimeter, up to one meter of the land opening up, letting the pressure uh, relieved over the magma and the magma rising to the surface, melting and forming uh, what we call as lava. I have several videos about the mechanism that I described here. Please watch them. They're interesting. They are related to what I've discussed to you now. Reckonish Peninsula of the Iceland is a very interesting place. We have a extension of the earth crust in that area which is part of the mid-atlantic reach and the stretching of it has created rift valleys the most famous one at the moment is what i have called grindavik rift valley we can see the in this area of photographs from the metaphys of iceland you can see the rift valley and the fault lines and the range this is the top of the fault line and the basin where the drop down of the faults and several faults that are there exist. Simplified version of that is this, what we think is this, is the stretching of the lithosphere creates this uh, uplift of the magma and uh, eruption. And the source sinking volcanic system is formed here in this setting. We have usually eruptions now for the last uh, four, five, six months. This is how it happens. It stretches the ground due to the uplift. We can map them by the GPS data, as you can see here. And the red line shows where the extension has happened and the uplift. And the uplift of this area creates the bulging of the ground. And the bulging that leads to the eruption, we can actually see that in the form of the eruption that happens in the Sunuka craters. This is a Swartzengi uh, GPS data we are seeing. Interestingly, when we have the uplift, after the eruption happens, we see a downfall as if the ground falls down due to the magma flowing from the Swartzengi toward the Sunuka crater to the east. In the Elfdorf, we have the opposite of that. Uh, what is interesting, east-west direction actually, you can see it here. We have a contraction of the ground in the east-west direction and the moment the eruption happens it starts to stretch back so what we are seeing in the opposite side of it in the green dubic is the exactly opposite of what happens in the Elfdorf. We, uh, we see that the uh, during the, up to the point of the eruption the land is actually stretching until the point of the eruption then it starts after the eruption to contract I've tried to show this in this diagram, extension up to the point of the uh, eruption, then during the eruption and after that, we have contraction of the ground. This makes sense because the land is rising due to the magma accumulation, so it stretches and then contracts. In the adjacent re regions, to the opposite side of the fault lines, you will see the opposite of that. In, when there is extension, you see on that side, compression and the opposite again when it happens. This is interesting observation. The land is breathing. You can see that the effect of it on the Elfdorf and the Swartzengi and the Grindavik area. When we plot the earthquakes and the volcanoes on a map of the world, we find that they are concentrated at certain 
uh, areas. This is the way we discovered the plate boundaries. And we discovered that the earth actually is cracked. The cracks through which eruptions of volcanoes may happen. Before that, also we may have earthquakes. And uh, first we discovered that the certain coastal areas of the world, for example, Africa and South America, match together as if they have been joined together in the past. Alfred Wegener discovered this first. Now we know that the Earth uh, uh, continents are actually not in the original place that they have been. They have moved many times over since the creation of the Earth in four and a half billion years ago. And this process is continuing. And where we can see the process actually in real time is in Iceland, uh, where we have the creation of the Atlantic Ocean leading to the formation of this island. Inside the Earth is hot, practically due to the impact heat that was introduced to this planet during the formation of it. And uh, this heat creates convection, and the convection leads when it reaches the surface, the solidified crust at the top of the uh, mantle creates cracks in the ground, as you can see here. And these cracks are where the separation or extension of the crust happens, and the magma forms fills the gap created simultaneously, so there is no practically a gap. And the eruption of, uh, in the Iceland is of this shape. In the Red Sea, we have another example, Afar Triangle or Africa, or Rhine Valley in the Germany, we have that. We have these eruptions in the water most of the times, so like what we have in the Reckoners Reach, which is a plateau inside the Atlantic Ocean. Part of it reaches the land. Practically, they are the same as the volcanic systems we have on the land. One of them is the LD volcanic system, similar to Schwarzenegger or Fegedes volcanic system or, or Hengel. And uh, this can potentially erupt inside the ocean. It has done in the 19th century and 20th, 20th century. And it is possible that we have another eruption recently. LD itself is something like a Thorbjorn Hill near the Swarzenk Geodermal power plant, uh, where the Blue Lagoon is. is a volcanic rock. It's the top of the ridge of the volcanoes. That have been, uh, most of it has been eroded. When we look at the tremors chart, we can see that the earthquakes start from the Reckoners Ridge and extends into the Reckoners Peninsula toward the east. Always starts from the uh, LD, like a wave traveling through the earth, reaching the other side. And the volcanic systems on the Reckoners Peninsula are created like that, very similar to what we have in LD. LD, if it erupts, will be in the ocean, of course, at the depth 60, 70, 80, 100 meters. And when it reaches the surface, it may react with the water. Uh, lava has chloride in it, and chloride can disintegrate, create chlorine. Chlorine gas is one of the byproducts of these uh, eruptions. Also, lots of water and CO2, uh, not compared to what we have actually created by, you know, uh, releasing them from the you know, oil and gas over the last 200 years, of course. This is an ongoing process. When it reaches the water, like what we saw in the Cambria Vieja volcano, it can cause this kind of reactions. I have a video about what happened in Cambria Vieja. Please watch that. Apocalyptic views of lava flow from the Cambria Vieja volcano. Now, two months has passed. Volcano has not stopped. It's coming directly from the core mantle boundary, like a welding torch made a hole in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and created the La Palma originally, now is adding to the land mass of the island. But the lava is flowing down the hills, going toward the ocean. This is a flow that nothing can stop it. I will show you a map that shows how it uh, moves toward the uh, sea, where, where it has covered, actually. When it reaches the sea, it just looks like Jurassic Park. Things are falling down, rolling down. The seawater waves are coming toward the uh, headland created by these lava flows. Any moment you may see a dinosaur coming out of the Royal King Kong. And that is how it looks. This is a 3D model we have created, and it shows the lava flow 
where it ended up on the sea. The older ones, you can see that they are created layered lava as cliffs that we see. It's apocalyptic view. It's a very strange phenomenon.